Hello there guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to check the MD5 on your file ROM you downloading. So you know what, let's get started. I'm going to show you by downloading the Eclipse ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. It's always a good thing to check the MD5 on your ROM to make sure nothing got corrupted during the download. It can save you from a bunch of trouble when you're flashing the ROM. So first up, you're going to need to download the program. So let's go to Google and search MD5 Checker. It should be the second one on the results, but I'll post the link of the program in the description. Now let's hit the download button and wait for it to finish. Once you finish downloading, you want to unzip the file and go to the folder where it was unzipped and open up the MD5 application. Now we head over to the download page of the ROM and the developer has kindly posted the MD5 of the ROM so we're going to copy that and then go back to our MD5 application and hit paste. Now I'm going to download the ROM since I haven't downloaded it yet but here. No, this may take a while but since this is YouTube everything is fast forward so we're going to now go back to the MD5 checker application and hit browse and we look for the file we just downloaded as you can see once you click on the file you download it it'll start generating and verifying that the correct MD5 some match up and as you can see they are the same alright but what if you're like me I hate downloading from my computer sometimes, I'd rather just download it to my phone, right? So how do you check the MD5 on there? Well, guess what? There's an app for that too. Now you're going to want to go and open up the Play Store and search for Astro File Manager. Since then you're going to want to download it, wait for it to finish downloading, open it, and it's really simple to use. It's a file manager, so you go looking in for your file that you downloaded, you long press it, and hit the menu key, then you head over to the properties. At the bottom, it will say MD5 check somewhere it could be checking the MD5. Simple, yeah, really easy to use. So now we could begin flashing. And as you can see, nothing got corrupt during the download, so everything should go well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button if this video helped you out. Make sure to subscribe for more daily tech content. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.